What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 AI only community world battle. Too many words really for a name, but we're in we're not doing anything. I'm I'm just sitting here telling you what's going on. It's not it's, it's not like a let's play where I'm I'm doing something, but um there is a lot of interesting stuff going on. If anyone is interested, it will probably be next episode that we look over the info addicts again. I see we're on turn 183 right now. There is still a ton of stuff going on, so I don't really have much of a track on it. But um, Austria did just peace out with Byzantium, and that's probably a good move for Austria. I mean, it helps Byzantium. I mean, it's not not ideal. Let's just ignore Moorish Leningrad, because that is weird. Oh, India is now st starting to make a bit more of an effort to take the Persian capital over here. Let's just sort of recap what's going on all over the map. Burundi is fighting Ethiopia by the look of it, but not anymore. <laughs> that was short-lived. Peace deal came up as soon as I said it. Yep, the southern part of Africa is still very quiet. Australia is Aust controlled by Australia. That That's nice. Samoa is trading with them. Samoa is still yet to expand, and there is some fighting going on out here in the ocean. I guess this is still Pacific Ocean. It's just close to the Chinese sort of area. I don't know. Close enough. Uh... Qing survived, and in the end, Korea lost the city of Zhongzhu here, which could be a real issue for them. And apart from that, Polynesia obviously took a city from the Shoshone. Texas have sort of dried up and fallen away here. The Iroquois are struggling, and maybe the Aztecs might be more of a threat than I was thinking over there. Oh, and Texas took this in a peace deal, apparently. Don't know when that happened, but there you go. Texas looking pretty good right now. This is obviously a platform to attack Mexico in the future, and... Although, to be fair, my, the Mayans did get a settler out here. At least that keeps them alive for now. And to be fair, their capital's pretty good. Someone, I'll make use for someone else someday. Benin? Is that Benin? No, that's Mali, sorry. It's pieced out with Assyria. South America, there was some wars, but everyone has just sort of killed each other's armies. No one's really, really gained anything from those wars as of yet. And the Mayans just pieced out with Argentina. And Argentina took this island off them. Poor old Mayans, giving everything away in peace deals. That, that's not great. That's interesting for Argentina because they're having a weird game. Obviously, the problem they've got is they are split in half by Brazil. So we'll see how they, they go from there. See where they go. Korea piecing out with Belgium because that was obviously the most obvious conflict in the world to deal with. Look at Mongolia. Okay, it looks like they're going to start doing something soon, surely. Because look at this. Dang, I think they'll be going after the Qing very soon. There's so many denouncements going on. It's as soon as the World's Congress has been founded and everyone's met each other, so now they're all willing to denounce people they've never even... They might have an embassy with at most, which is fun. The Huns have sort of dried up and actually probably have a bigger navy than they have an army in the Caspian Sea. I, I don't know if that's the best idea. They've got some big cities, though, to be fair. Especially when you consider them to Moscow, just north. Even well, they look big. I mean, number-wise, they're still pretty similar. But these, I don't know why the Hunnic cities just look really cool. Byzantium has declared war on the Vandals, and that could it could work. Byzantium have a lot of Galeuses. I mean, if they send all these through from the Black Sea as well, this could definitely work. The thing is, the Vandals are pretty strong too. I don't know what they're doing over here. Who they're at war with? Mali or the Moors? They'll come back though, probably. And we'll see. Byzantium have been trying to get into Africa for quite a while. We saw them. I think twice already land pretty big land invasions to try and take the former Egyptian capital off Ethiopia. That did not work out for them. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe this is their attempt. Obviously, the Vandals, all coastal cities, going to be a little bit easier. Vandals and Mali just entered the Renaissance era. Still not sure what Rhodesia's doing here. It looks like they might be fighting Ethiopia, but I don't think they are. But let's see. Europe is going to be interesting, definitely interesting. I think the Moors are going to cause a problem for everybody. The fact that they have taken these two cities that are a bit far away from where they are is probably going to drag a bit of a race to take them over. And Texas did finally take this city. I don't know, again, whether they'll hold on to it. Soon no longer have a melee unit, so this time Texas may just hold on to it here, which would be useful for them. Polynesia has rebuilt since that war, and Japan's rebuilt pretty well. They're trying again... A little bit, not not too intent intensive, but they were trying. Look at Vietnam's army right now. This is scary. Vietnam looking very strong out here in the east. 
think the info addicts are going to tell us a whole lot more in the next episode than maybe what they told us when we looked at turn 100 where it just showed us that sort of Samoa was still in the lead and Polynesia and Japan as well but the Celts didn't really do too well with the advantages I gave to them I mean they're doing okay four cities Edinburgh's pretty big but they've got more opportunities they probably should have settled Ireland by now Maybe gone for another city on this side of Scandinavia. I mean, there's space in Europe. They could have settled in Brittany over here. So, you know, okay, that was coming. Mongolia v. Qing. And I feel like Vietnam might be about to... We'll probably now consider joining in. And then we'll just have Mongolia v. Vietnam in East Asia. And if we wanted to see them a showdown, it's between those two. Korea are going to fall away, I imagine, now. And obviously Japan will slowly start to grow. Okay, Mali has now attacked the Vandals. There we go. So that's going to be a land invasion. The Vandals have tried to send stuff over here to stop the Byzantines. But now now they've got Mali too. Just just what they needed <laughs> at this time. Uh, Burundi is still doing okay here. They're in a tough spot. Like They're doing well compared to some of their neighbours. But whether they can hold on to all this land is the big question. Uh, Rhodesia has musket men. And they're doing pretty well down here. I mean, the problem is they're, not, they're leaving it a while to unite this stuff. I mean, I understand going after the Zulu would be difficult right now, but at least maybe go after Kilwa so that you can keep progressing. Samoa peaced out with Austria. I'm glad to say that no cities exchanged hands after that war. And Mongolia just entered the Renaissance era. Three cities and Korea peaced out with Qing. Qing also peaced out with Kilwa, which is good, I guess. India, okay, India is going to take the Persian capital and that is so big for India, because this is like, I mean, it's going to be tough. Like, this doesn't really open many more options for him. Like, you can't just go and attack Assyria. There is mountains here. He can't go up to the Huns again. Mountains will make it difficult, but it's going to be really helpful. He needs this, because Vietnam, who have got the Great Wall to his east, are also very strong. So it's going to be a while. Like, India, they'll probably take this. They should probably go after this Babylonian city, get Kilwa out of here. And maybe if they, I mean, if anyone does, go after some of these Indonesian islands, that's where their hope lies. As long as they can actually take this. They got driven back a bit there. But I'm sure... I don't think they've had their turn yet. Oh no, they must have done. Don't mess this up after I said you were finally going to do it. They will definitely fail now. That's just the way it is. It's just got to be like that, hasn't it? As soon as I say it, they fail. Uh, Vietnam and Qing have settlers that I can see. I don't know where they're heading. Seems like the Vietnamese one's heading north, but I might be wrong. If it is, it's probably going towards the desert of Mongolia again. I don't know where Qing are planning on going. I guess, again, they would try to go west before it is just desert. There's still a lot of tundra E, tundra E, tundra E tundra -y lands. I mean, it is a tundra, so it's not tundra E. It is a tundra. Polynesia has completed the Forbidden Palace. Interesting. And let's see how Mongolia go about this. Please don't split. Like, there's, there's mountains here. This can be tough enough as it is. If you take Peking, you can stop Korea. You give yourself an avenue to go into Korea. Just please don't go after the city at the same time. I mean, if you take Peking, it would be really easy to go after the city as well. And Japan is actually distracting Korea pretty well. I mean, they're not they're not really focused right now, Japan. Don't see any samurai either. Looks like you just skip straight. Actually, no, there won't be samurai, I don't think. If I'm mistaken. I don't know. This is a mod, so it might have different units. I'm just thinking. So Ching are heading somewhere by boat, maybe down here, to this island, which everyone gets mad at me for pronouncing wrong, so I'm not going to even try. But I know what it's called, but it's the one place that I like. People generally ma get mad about me pronouncing it wrong, which normally people tell me, ah, the Incans pieced out with the Mapuche, and they took Pilma Pilmaken. Like, I won't pronounce Taiwan. I did it, there you go. I think that's how you're supposed to say it, and I used to say Taiwan, which might be why. But there you go, the Inca took this city from the Mapuche, which is bad news for them. Texas pieced out with the Sioux, and they didn't take any more, but it's looking good for Texas. The Iroquois, like, the Iroquois need to do something, like, soon. I mean, they're not out of it yet, but they need to do whatever they're going to do soon. Okay, Burundi v. Nigeria over here. That's going to be interesting, Burundi... Have a lot of troops. Nigeria don't. <laughs> they've had plenty of time, Nigeria. Like, they fought Mali and lost a city a while ago. Since then, they've not really had much to do. So, this is their own fault. They, This is all on them for not building more stuff. 
Europe is just staying very peaceful right now. Austria is rebuilding its army. Could do with unpuppeting these cities at some point. That would really help, especially the former Prussian capital here. A very nice city. The Soviets have pretty much given up at this point. They don't have much of an army. As soon as Attila is not busy doing whatever he's doing. And this, there is still a race on here. Persia's holding off. The Huns have arrived. Assyria's trying. Assyria pieced out with India. That might have been the problem for India. I think Assyria was attacking them too. At the same time as attacking Persia. It's all a bit of a mess down here. Uh, Nigeria has pieced out with the Zulu. Hopefully the Zulu didn't give anything away in a peace deal. No, thank goodness. Let's see. Persepolis. I mean, it's kind of now or never. These units are starting to run out. But yeah, not being at war with Assyria anymore is probably going to help India. Samoa versus Kilwa. I thought we might... Oh my goodness, Australia, what are you doing? <laughs> if Australia declares war on Ethiopia... Okay, Texas v. the Mapuche. Do you really need to do that, Texas? Australia are sending stuff west, though. Not really sure why. Samoa would now actually be, be a good time to attack Australia, if you had a plan to do anything soon. That'd be interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so Polynesia's the first frigates, although saying that Samoa does have privateers. Okay, lots of wars breaking out. Okay, 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 this is... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Okay, Japan versus Assyria. Well, that doesn't really matter. I mean, Assyria is fine here. Japan v. Kilwa. That is, again, not a problem. Japan... I mean, there's a caravel here, but... Qing v. Rhodesia does not matter. Oh, my goodness, Vietnam. Um, Zulu Assyria does not matter. Ethiopia Assyria doesn't matter right now. There's no way Ethiopia is going to get over here and do anything. And Congo, Assyria, again doesn't matter. Burundi, Kilwa does kind of matter, especially because they're now at war with Rhodesia. I think Burundi might be about to collapse in Central Africa. We'll see. Argentina, Vida Mapuche, I thought that might come now that they're just down to two cities. Argentina desperately need to expand down here. Because if not, Brazil will probably eventually become stronger than them. That's all I'm thinking. And probably the Incans as well. So they need to do something soon. Byzantium vs. That does matter, but they, they seem pretty preoccupied right now, Byzantium. And the Leaning Tower of Pisa for the Moors. They're doing okay here. They actually managed to connect their borders with the city of Murthia here in West Africa, which means they have control combined with the Vandals and Mali. It's going to be very difficult to get access from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic and vice versa. But it... It is possible, I guess. How is Mongolia? Okay, Mongolia is trying here. Vietnam, I, they might be about to attack Mongolia for all I know. That would be weird. And interesting. An interesting fight. This is show. Wait, I thought you guys. Oh no, you pieced out with this. Wait, I swear you were. I swear you guys pieced out. Stop. <laughs> Just stop fighting each other for like five minutes. Come on. Okay, so that. Yeah, this is going to be the interesting thing. Right here, Central Africa, Burundi, they just declared war on Nigeria. Now, I mean, the geography is not great for Rhodesia and Kilwa, but they are going to cause some issues. As I've said, this city is very safe. I don't think I could take that if you gave me 10 stealth bombers and a nuclear missile, but you never know. The Huns v. Australia, the Huns v. Austria, sorry, peaced out. So it's not even a v. Austria, they just peaced out with Austria. Poor old Rome. Poor old Papal States. Sat here having a tough time. Babylon has pieced out with the Moors. Didn't even know they were at war. So there you go. And the Moors also pieced out with Ethiopia. Nothing lost. The Vandals have survived. They've held on. They're not dead yet. And how are Qing doing? Are Qing about to disappear? Probably. That's my answer to that. Let's see. Next turn. Okay, we're getting to turn 200. It's 197 should get to 200. Australia v. Babylon, because, you know, that is a typical war right there. Just what Australia needs to be doing right now, that. Aztecs have entered the Renaissance era. Plenty of other stuff. Let's just focus on this, although I do want to see if Persia... Nope, it seems like Persia will survive. Albeit there's a very small... Oh, no, maybe the Huns might get it done. I don't know, but there's no melee units. Maybe. Maybe. Babylon pieced out with Belgium. The Vandals pieced out with Byzantium. And there we go. Qing has once again lost their capital. This time to Mongolia. And this time I think it may be more of a permanent basis. But yeah, Mongolia is a bit spread out. They didn't... Okay, Vietnam. 
I don't know what you're doing, but this is going to be very interesting. I mean, Mongolia should be able to fight them here because they'll have those bombardments, which defensively will give them a hand. They did just peace out, so it looks like Mongolia is expecting Vietnam to attack them any minute now. But, I mean, it seems fairly balanced. Mongolia's got a bit less, but I think they'll still be okay because, like I said, they are defending. It's probably a bit easier to defend than it is to attack. Burundi... Are still going after Lagos here. Not really worried. Yeah, they seem to have held them off pretty well here. Like I said, this city is in such a strong defensive position. Maybe they're going to be fine. Anyway, oh, Korea settled in Madagascar. When did this happen? This is weird. Oh, they had that settler, didn't they? I said about this. It was heading towards the Middle East. The Zulu do have two settlers here too. But Korea is in Madagascar. How? We just... Weird things have to happen, don't they? Who is doing this, but I don't know who's doing this. Why is this city in the yellow? I feel like it might be Zulu. Polynesia pieced out with the Sioux. They didn't take anything. Since this is still... I don't know if this is... I think they're just healing now. I don't think they're fighting anymore. The Aztecs have got a fairly good-sized army here. Problem is, Texas is recovering now. Which is a big worry for the Aztecs. And Persia are into the... India, why are you going after Babylon? The, this is going to fall. It's going to fall to somebody, surely. I don't know what Babylon's doing here, going towards Assyria. Having a little look. I don't know where Vietnam is going. This is going to be weird. I, I assume they've got to be about... I don't know, because they've got open borders. Surely they're going to go to war with Mongolia very soon. Uh, oh, okay. Well, North America couldn't even make it through 10 more turns the Iroquois and Polynesia are now teaming up on the Shoshone will Polynesia add another coastal city maybe probably too much to go after this city and this one's pretty safe so the Iroquois aren't going to provide too much help but you know they're obviously letting their thoughts out and oh Korea actually took this back because Japan was not bothered to defend it like Korea had three boats four boats and they also just completed the Red Fort is this Korea's comeback They've reunified Korea. They've got Madagascar under their control. Maybe maybe this is it for Korea. Vietnam, you were doing really well, but what are you doing? It looks like they're not going for Mongolia. I don't really know what they're doing. Just sending troops into the middle of nowhere. As you do. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.